So today we want to talk about bold and brave leadership. Heavy commercial vehicle sector stands for 5.2% of the world's CO2 emissions. I'm extremely worried about the pace of change right now. I think a lot of single pieces are there, but we're not tying the pieces together. Hence, the change is not happening. Change is obviously all about risk, and you can look at risk in two ways. Either you say, well, a uh, step into a lot of change means risk. I avoid it. I wait until I'm certain. The other way, and this is my way to look upon risk, is, well, if I don't do anything, I will become completely irrelevant. So the risk is not to move when change is needed. And the question is, who keeps the pace in all of this? Is it the policymaker? Is it the transport buyer? Is it the logistics companies? Who is it? Well, the answer is, of course, it's us together. So the risk needs to be shared throughout the whole system. Everyone needs to be bold. Everyone needs to be brave and say, we do the step. If one is not doing it, the whole thing is going to fail. We're in the middle of the biggest change our industry has been through in 100 years. We're talking about much bigger issues here than just the company or the, the, the next quarter result. We're talking about the future of the planet, right? We're talking about our kids and their kids' future, and that's very serious. And therefore, I don't really care if we make mistakes. Short term, it costs us money. I will get criticized because I know we're doing the right thing. We're trying to do the right thing. And, and that is the way I defend that we take on all this risk. I'm prepared to bet our company's future on really fixing the problem that we are creating today. But the thing is, it doesn't matter what we do as Scania. We have to do this in collaboration with everyone along the whole value chain. We need the energy suppliers. We need the charging infrastructure people. We need the banks and the financial institutions. And uh, perhaps most of all, we need the policymakers to fully support this transformation journey. So by sharing, learning from each other, listening together, I'm absolutely convinced that we can drive the shift towards sustainable transport systems.